Hi, this is Crystal from Crafty Sides Reads and More. We're working on the new trend, the candy cane. And uh, we're taking the chunky arm, and how we're going to begin it is, is that we're going to use a hot glue gun. Now, y'all, my hot glue gun is a, it's been well used, so it looks a little rough, but hey, it works. <laughs> Okie dokie. Here we go. I'm going to start with hot glue and get right on that in there, so make sure that's covered up real good. Like this. Do not want the glue here because you're going to be weaving a ribbon in through there. I'll show you in just a little while. Just make sure your sides are covered. Okay, here we go. Some more there. Some more there. Back. Just make sure it's all the way down to the edges. We want it to be close. You don't want to see any wire. Up and see good. Here we go. So right on down through here. Make sure I get it all the way to the ends. I'm just gonna glue on the wire. And this is Gorilla Hot Glue. Not overlapping too much, but overlapping just a little. Look, I can keep kind of count of the track of how many to this way. Because when you're weaving the ribbon in, you leave two, you see the ribbon under there, and then you cover one, two, three, four, and then you leave two. And look, that comes out just right. Right there. Now that's getting pretty good coverage, just like it's doing pretty good. And it's not taking a whole lot of this yarn. Well, it should take at least half from what, what, uh, what they're doing if they're wrapping it all the way around. Okay, so, let's see. So if you're making this at home, you want to uh, get your stuff to go as far as you can, as you know you want it to go. And I'm going to turn it over and see how that's going to work. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm going to go right down through here. Put pictures on it. I have those little ones from the Dollar Tree that held it in place until it dried really good. These little metal ones are handy. They're made pretty stout. Look at that. And there we go. And just keeping it on there. Okay. Now, let's turn it over and see how that looks on the other side. I think it looks pretty good. Now while that's drying, I'm gonna go row with it, y'all. I'm gonna row with it. All right. Now let's see, the next one. That looks good. I like it. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, now do the other side. I've enjoyed coming back, y'all. I've missed doing this stuff. Which I've still been crafting, but I've missed uh, showing and, and, and doing my videos and, and, and sharing with you all. It's all part of the fun and the package. I get excited, y'all, when I try something and it works. Of course, this is not my idea. This is the latest trend, as you would say. There, most people are trying it, but it is really cute. But I'm sure there'll be variances, and everybody have their own way, and their own ideas thrown in there. You know I will, if I can sell these, and I try to make some more. But these are really, really cute. I like it. All right, let's keep going. 
but I've uh, I've missed doing tutorials. I've missed uh, getting to spend time in here. And uh, my friend Tara, she's also my aunt, but I call her my friend. She was my friend for a long time, and now she's family too. And she's a sister in the Lord, so we got connections all kinds of ways. This is gonna be so cute. So, 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 so cute. There is a tile there. So I am gonna cut that off right there. How y'all's gardens do this summer? I know it was kinda hectic here a little bit because then we had kind of a drought at the beginning so it was dry so I was worried about water and then when we got water boy did we get water <laughs> oh my goodness it was so much water but it was needed but then a lot of places flooded and then here in Kentucky there was a lot of floods and a lot of people had a lot of struggles and I really prayed for those families because I, I hated that it was it's been hard I'm sure on them and they're still struggling still trying to go through the Lord's gracious to us, y'all. He takes care of us. Whatever we go through, He's there. We just have to lean on Him. There's things we're going to go through in this life, that's for sure. Okay, when we get up in this curve, we kind of got to make sure that it's tight because it's going to swag. It's going to be wider on the end than on the inside. So we're going to pay attention and see how that works. At Christmas time and stuff, they a lot of this chunky yarn gets used on a lot of crafts. I know, like snowmen and uh, snow, and it makes a lot of crafts. I'm trying to set up there just a little bit, but I don't want it overlapping. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over and do this side. Look at my glue mess. I'll get that up later on. Okay. Let's see if it's still looking good. Yep. Now, let's tuck these other pieces under. Me and my glue gun, you know, sometimes we have a, a challenge with each other. <laughs> Do you have that with yours? Do you uh, kind of wrangle with your glue gun sometimes? Especially when it's around with the yarn and stuff, things like that. I love, the, I love it though, it's real pretty, it's white. That white is really, really, like, just, just really white. It's really pretty. But if you want, like, a farmhouse look, you'd probably go with, like, an off-white. According to what your style is, I guess. With candy canes, you think of red and white. And then I got uh, the ribbon that has the little candy discs on it. Look how cute. So it really, I think it'll really look good in that. All right, let's go some more with this. And we'll just keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I hope I'm not getting my head in the way, y'all. Get too far away. I need to lift my chair up. I'm kind of struggling to see a little bit. You get older, them eyes don't work as well as a lot of, as well as a lot of other things. <laughs> but... Bless, bless, bless the picture. That's right. There we go. And we're just going to keep gluing and wrapping. Put a little bit of loop right there. 
glue with my candy cane to the table. <laughs> Done that before too, y'all. And then I'll cut that off and I'll stick that back up in there. I think it's covered. Now, here we go. Yes, look, 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 look. I like, see, it's, it's looking good. And if there's any place that's not even on there, go back, put a little bit of glue on it, put another picture on it, it's good. Let me take a look at it. There's one right there, needs a little bit more glue. Okay. Now, let's do this side. Alright, I'm going to finish doing this and I'll be back in just a minute. Now we have the ribbon. And, let's see, it's got to go under there and one, two, three, four, cross for four, three inches. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do three and a half inches just to be sure. And I'm gonna tape with my shears. Okay. You see this? Okay, now we're gonna do skip two, put this right in under there. Just a little bit. Just enough to hold it. Go over four, one, two, three, four. And then put this under the fifth one away from that. One, two, three, four. And you want to measure it which right over top of those middle bars. So it'll be center. So you can feel that. And after we get it the way we want it, we'll come back and glue it. Look how cute that's going to be. And it's so bright. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, three and a half inches. Sorry, y'all. I should have done had this done. Let's play. Let's see. Okay, three and a half. Okay, right in the center. It's gonna be so pretty. I'll right, count two and go under. Just barely under and we'll come back and glue it. I just want to make sure I'm getting it straight. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then under. Try to make it line it up. I'm feeling for them bars underneath there so I would kind of get an idea of where they're all about the same. The two middle bars. Okay, one, two. Put this under. Now that one's just being a little bit of a rooter. Not wanting to go under there. But we'll get it. Alright, there we go. One, two, three, four. Just put this out and see how it has those two little middle bars. I'm kind of centering them right over those bars so I can tell where center is to make it a little bit easier on me. Flat it out. I'm going to look like they're the same height. Right under there. I don't want it to look like it's over it or under it. It's kind of want to be like flush like that. There we go. And those metal bars under there and center that ribbon right on there. We'll cover one, two, three, four. This is where it curves, so we've got to curve the ribbon with it. One, two, three, four. And this one goes under here. And that spark was coming off that ribbon onto the yarn. it make it flush there we go and one two look out and see what I'm doing I've got two things of ribbon and I'm finding the metal bars inside and I'm just placing that right over both where it's centered and sliding that under that second one and one, two, three, four, covering four up and going underneath the fifth one. Then I will have to straighten that up to where it'll kind of curve with it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? 
feeling those middle bars, so I know that it's still centered like I want it to be. And then, you know, observation too. A little silver sparkle edge to show like the rest of it. Okay. And then we'll go with the next one. One, two. Center over the metal bars. The center there. Can you see that little middle metal bars? I'm putting my ribbon over, making sure it's crossed over both of those so it's in the center. Y'all yeah, didn't count these, so it may not come out perfect. If it don't, we'll figure it out. Make sure it's kind of centered. It needs to kind of straightened up a little. Ah, it's like I cut just the right. Okay. This under here. That is so, 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 so cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. 